Well, as the weather warms up and the sun stays out later, more people in the capital region are opting, opting to trade in the gas guzzlers and use human power to get to and from work. Uh, the timing is perfect with the 18th annual Bike to Work Week launching today, giving cyclists about six weeks to register and to practice and uh, to train to join the two-wheeled movement. CTV's newest cycling enthusiast, Aaron Glazier, has the story. This is cyclist and Victoria Mayor Dean Fortin's ride. Star parking right out front of City Hall. Inside the who's who of cycling, gear up for the 18th annual Bike to Work Week, which will get rolling May 28th through June 3rd. We share the highest commuter mode share in Canada. Something the bright orange clad Bike to Work Week volunteers are proud of. Uh, of course, visibility is the key to, to cycling. And they hope more people will give the two-wheeled mode of transportation a try. We're expecting more people than we had last year. We had over 600 teams last year, over 7,000 participants. The 2012 goal is to add 1,000 new commuter cyclists to those who already know the ease and affordability, especially when you look at today's prices at the pump. Why ride a bike instead of driving? Save on gas. It's uh, so much easier. Parking's easy. There's uh, some parking spots right there. From free parking to free registration, Bike to Work Week routes will also feature celebration stations, offering up complimentary snacks, bike first aid, and more than $25,000 in prizes. And if that's not motivation enough, it's also good for the old ticker. Definitely going to improve your cardiovascular risk factors. If you're older, it in fact seems to be even more pronounced in that you actually reduce your cancer risk for both the mortality and morbidity, as well as seemingly just living longer. But for some, just the thought of saddling up beside a semi is scary. Would you ride down the street if there wasn't a bike lane here with busy traffic? No. Why not? I want to live. And while bike lane infrastructure in the capital region isn't perfect, it is getting better with each and every year. Case in point, this summer, Mackenzie Avenue will get a big upgrade. We're leaving two lanes on Mackenzie heading up to uh, UVic. But when we did the analysis, we can take one lane coming out of UVic because there's not as much traffic going that way back to Tuscany. And we'll be doing some stuff at the intersection of Gordon Hill. Very exciting. So join these pedal pushers because one less car on the road means more healthy people and cleaner air for all of us. And Aaron Glacier joins us now with more. Aaron, uh, how can folks find out more and how can people and businesses sign up and get a team going for Bike to Work Week? Hudson, it really is as easy as going online, www.biketoworkweek.ca backslash Victoria. You can register as a single person or as a team. I know I have to get on that, but we're going to have to come up with a, a snappy name for you and I as we cycle to work that week. Hopefully it warms up a little bit. It's a little chilly. I'm still in my spandex. I have goosebumps on my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a little windy out here, too. Yeah, well, you'll get some gloves on. Uh, I missed the kickoff today for the first time uh, that I can remember, but I'll be on my bike with you when it comes time to, to compete. Yeah, you missed your chance getting one of those bright orange shirts. Yeah, those are nice shirts. They're visible. Year. All right. Thank you, Aaron. You're welcome. Take care.